everybody, it's your girl Yako, and in today's video I'll be showing you how I created this jumbo braid ponytail that I have going on right here. And the only thing you'll need is uh, about three hair ties, a comb and a brush, and gel to put your hair in a ponytail. And you'll need two packs of regular braiding hair. And that's about it. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've already put my hair into a ponytail. Um, I didn't put any gel around my edges or my back or anything yet because it's just easier for me to put all this hair in a ponytail without the gel and then just go back later once everything is said and done and then put my gel on. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of hair here and my hair is um, blown out with the blow dryer. Um, and if you're going to blow your hair out, uh, make sure you use your heat protectant um, so you can protect your natural curls. But you also have the option to stretch your hair and there are videos out there about how to stretch your hair. But um, you want your hair to be at least about four inches long when it's in the ponytail for this particular technique that I'm using for the jumbo um, braid ponytail. So let's get started. Again, I used two packs of braiding hair just to make the jumbo braid actually jumbo because one pack it makes the braid look a little skinny so I used two packs of braiding hair and I staggered it a little bit at the end here because I should have did it a little bit more but that's okay so that it won't be like a blunt cut you know what I mean and at the top here I just um, where they usually have a rubber band I just put a black hair tie so we have that there and all you do next is just Wrap the loop around your ponytail. Okay, and you're gonna have this braiding hair sitting under your hair. Cause the point of the technique that I'm using is so that once you start braiding, it looks like the jumbo braid is actually coming from your hair, like a ponytail, instead of it being like a ball here and then you cover your ball and then start braiding. I want it to actually look a little bit more natural. So um, you're just going to separate this into three sections. And you kind you want this these sections to be really, really even. So I'm gonna try to make them as even as possible so that my jumbo braid won't be all loppy and so let me get that together <laughs> and then I'm going to come back. Okay guys, so I have separated, because this is a lot of hair, I have separated the ponytail into three even sections and I've used hair clips to separate it. So I had, um, included my hair with the braiding hair in the three different sections. And the point of me doing that is because I wanted my braid to be even instead of lumpy because when I tried it before without doing this method um, I had a lumpy braid and it didn't look as good so um, I just wanted to try it this way to see um, if that would be a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and take my clips off so I can start to braid the hair. braid is all done and as you can see here it kind of looks like it's uh, coming from the ponytail instead of it being like a ball this is the braid here and I just left the end like this so uh, it's kind of cute just to leave it like that so what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is a, a finisher here to this style is I'm going to gel my hair gel my edges uh, and I'm going to use this Eco Style Gel here. This is the newest one they have. It has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed. It has a lot going on, but yeah, this is the one I'm using. And I'm also going to use my brush, and I'm going to use this toothbrush that I use only for my hair, only for my edges. That's what this toothbrush is for. So I'm going to go ahead and start to
if you want to jazz your hair up a bit, have these little gold little hair accessories. Um, they sell these at all the beauty supply stores. I think a pack is like a dollar or two, so I'm just gonna jazz it up. <laughs> 